This uh, video is for students who have used Microsoft uh, Excel in the past and are familiar with its capabilities, uh, but have never used Google Docs and would like to understand how Google Docs spreadsheet capabilities are accessed as well as uh, how the Google Docs spreadsheet program operates. If, uh, if you have never used Google Docs, uh, you're in for a pleasant surprise because Google Docs is based on the concept of cloud computing. What that means to you as a student is that you no longer have to worry about where your programs are located on any particular computer or where your documents are located. Uh, essentially all the programs that you use within Google Docs as well as all the documents that you create are located on a computer system uh, on the internet uh, which means your programs and your documents are available to you at any time and anywhere that you have the ability to access your email account. Um, that is called uh, the, the cloud computing concept. But let's, uh, let's assume you have access to your email account uh, and uh, in this particular screen, um, your account uh, screen would look very similar to this. You would go to the uh, top of the screen and click on something called documents. Uh, doc, the document screen um, is shown. Uh, a very simply, a very simple, clean screen that is uh, has uh, key information relating to all of the documents that you have stored on uh, on your particular Google account. Uh, I also have the ability to create new documents by coming over here to the Create New button, and I'm going to click uh, Spreadsheet. And as you will see, uh, the spreadsheet screen is brought up looks very similar to the um, versions uh, of some of the older versions of Microsoft Excel uh, with the uh, particular menu functions at the top of file edit view insert format form tools and uh, and help uh, but let's um, let's get started with a, a typical um, uh, spreadsheet and this is a, a set of sales data for uh, uh, for the months of January February and March with a total quarter column uh, if I wanted to begin to um, to format my spreadsheet uh, I'd operate uh, in a very similar manner as I would in Microsoft Excel there is uh, alignment options up here where I can center my uh, my particular um, heading uh, I would also uh, like to do that uh, for the months that I'm going to be showing as well as a total quarter. So I'll go up here and center that information as well. Uh, my numbers are right aligned here. Um, I don't uh, necessarily like that. So I'm going to highlight those particular numbers. Again, go up here and use the center uh, option. Um, I have the ability then to um, uh, change uh, the text if I would like, and um, I think I'm going to take advantage of that. I'm, I'm basically going to um, um, you basically increase the size of the text uh, for my whole spreadsheet. Uh, I'm also going to use some bowling capabilities uh, in... Uh, uh, for my heading, uh, I'm also going to use some uh, bowling capabilities uh, for my uh, my subheadings. So I'm going to come up here and click on that, and now I've got that all set. Uh, the creation of a formula uh, for the Google spreadsheet is uh, very similar to um, uh, Microsoft Excel. Basically, uh, it starts out with an equal sign. This, so you can see that is showing now in the particular cell as well as the formula bar. Uh, and I click the first variable that I would like to uh, to use. 
in my particular formula then I click the second variable that I would like to use in my particular formula and then I click the third variable in that particular um, by hitting enter um, I have my amount again I would like to align that and um, uh, I now have my basic uh, my basic spreadsheet one of the uh, one of the cool things about Google is uh, if I was working on this project with uh, several other students um, uh, I could share this particular spreadsheet um, uh, with those particular students um, uh, all I would have to do is uh, go up here to the share option um, it's asking me for a spreadsheet name and I'm going to call this uh, uh, John okay I'm gonna say okay uh, and then I'm going to been, be given the option to uh, enter people I would like to um, share this with so I'm going to uh, pick a colleague uh, of mine that I would like to operate on this particular spreadsheet uh, I'm also going to send him a message um, um, instructing him to uh, please edit this document uh, and he will get an email message and he will be aware that um, uh, he can uh, access and edit this document uh, whenever he would like uh, also I have the ability to print this particular document by going to the file menu and saying print um, gives me a variety of options um, uh, I'm going to fit this to the width of the page uh, as well as print it portrait I could print it landscape or the actual size of the page and I then um, uh, say print and it displays uh, what the document would look like at this particular point in time uh, if I right click I can then say print the dialog box for uh, uh, this printing this particular document comes up and I say print and it's ready to uh, uh, ready to go uh, you'll notice uh, in the uh, in the design of uh, the Google Docs spreadsheet application that all the key functions that you would typically use in creation of a uh, spreadsheet are available to you uh, in this particular application and um, uh, very easy to access so that uh, uh, you are highly productive when creating a spreadsheet. Thank you.